huge puddle of water and there is a horse carrying a man with a chainsaw across it and we are trying to watch him and see how deep this is. That's pretty Why deep. Why is he carrying a chainsaw? Maybe because of what caused the inundation? We don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. We have driven yeah, two and like a half hours. Yeah, it's like to the bottom of the horse. We have driven two and a half hours. That's crazy. Yeah, it's all the way to the horse. Where do you go? Alright, we're going to try to reroute. We'll let you know. Ah! Okay, so we had to take an alternative route and so it took us about 45 more minutes to get here. But now there's another water problem and we're gonna see what other people <laughs> do. Um, so far, the bus ahead of us is also seeing what the person, the truck does. Oh, so. Man, I don't know. That is pretty deep on that truck. Well, maybe not. Okay. Let's see. All right. Look at he's going to the right. Oh, it looks deeper to the right. Oh my gosh. It is so. We're in a renter car, of course, not. And it's pretty little. We're not sure. We are not sure. We're gonna do it. Hold on to your hold on to your butts. Yeah. If you drink, don't drive. Do the watermelon crawl. It's gonna get bumpy right go, here. Go, got bumpy. Go, go, go. is what girls do when they get on a camera or they get on a video. So, I'm gonna welcome everyone. <laughs> oh, she's gonna cut me in the storm. I'm gonna be put out, pray for me. But yeah, it's a crazy day. So if you're doing this flamingo tour, I would probably suggest getting transportation because it's really hard to get here. Um, so that's something, and I don't know, hopefully it's a great tour. Hopefully we get to go on it, but we'll see you soon. <laughs> hopefully it's a great tour, hopefully we get a go. It is pouring, there's a boat. There's a boat in the water. <laughs> <laughs> we got cows! Any Twister fans out there? <laughs> yeah, so I guess I gotta run in and see about our tour. Noticing that the water seems like it has a red hue to it. Maybe from the camera it looks a little bit brownish really, but when you're looking at it in person, it almost looks red, which is interesting because you have the, the salt um, flat just up the way. I guess it's uh, the Los Colorados and it's the, the pink water, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but pretty interesting. So Ryder was pointing out that I'm, I'm colorblind, so it may not be a reddish tint to the water. Looks like it to me. Only to blue and purple. What color do you think the water is? Uh, I think it's pinkish red. Pinkish red. Or orange. Orangey. Love it. Rest. So the reason for the pink water is the mangroves that you see right behind us. When it rains and it filters through the mangroves, there's a, a tannin um, in it that flushes out into the water and that's what gives it its reddish, pinkish tint, depending on how well you see colors. So the more you know.
So we just learned a lot about the flamingos. In the wild, they live to be about 25 years old. In captivity, they live to be 15 years old. And the pink color comes from eating the crabs. And there's beta carotene. Carotene carotene in there that they eat and so when flamingos are born they're actually white and it's not till about year three or five that they start getting that pink color as they get older in age they actually can take on a orangish hue because they've eaten so many of the crabs so they use their long legs and they kick up in the dirt and then they use their mouth to find the crab so that's how they go about doing their thing and they're just absolutely stunning Ryder loves it. <laughs> he does. They would try to make I flamingos. love flamingos. This is so, so cool. Yeah, it's my favorite animal. And tell them what you said about the eyes, because that makes sense. It's a shame that it, cameras can't pick up the same thing that a, re, a real person's eye can. Because they just go screaming. Don't need it. It's actually probably better right now. Look at his neck. It, what do you see about his neck, buddy? He has a big neck, so he's a boy. <laughs> So this is neat, we've pulled back into the mangrove and you can see the beautiful mangroves how the branches are actually roots and they go right down into the water. And we noticed in the water we saw a little fish and our tour guide was telling us that's where the hey, fish will barnacles. go and lay their eggs. Oh and there's barnacles. Green ones. Oh yeah. Where? Right there on the mangrove, little green barnacle oh. looking things. They're beautiful. I wish I could touch them. <laughs> so just beautiful. So off in the distance, you can see where the salt is here, right by the Los Colorados that gives it its pink tint. It just got hit by the hurricane, so it's all mucked up. But you can see the salt, and then the salt mountains over in the distance. design on your face? Yes. Beautiful. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's sea salt. Alright, so here we go. We are going to let all this dry off. Then we're going to the private beach to get this craziness off us. But it's pretty awesome. Wait, you're like... Ha <laughs> <laughs> 